everybody wants a great set of apps. The problem is most people very rarely train the abdominal muscles. So in this short video, what I'm going to do is explain a little bit more about the anatomy of the abdominal muscles, um, what you often do wrong, and then how to correct that in the gym to actually develop the muscles of the abdominal wall. Um, a lot of people talk about core training um, and the supporting muscles around the spine. This video in particular is going to be more about how to develop the muscles the, to actually hypertrophy and to grow the uh, rectus abdominal muscles, the six pack that you see. So, as uh, you can see on bed now, abdominal muscles are located on the front of the torso. Okay. Now, they originate right down on the pubic bone and they insert right into the rib cage. So, that should give you a little bit of an indication of the distance between the base of the abdominal and the top. Now to actually grow the abdominals, just like any other muscle in the body, you've got to lengthen and you've got to contract. Now the problem you see with most people is they don't create any shortening between the muscle. So you imagine a biceps curl, if you curl in the dumbbell, you're going to create a length and a shortening. However, if you curl the dumbbell like that, there's no shortening in the elbow joint, no flexion in the elbow joint, you're not going to actually stimulate the biceps. And the same can be said for the abdominal muscles. A lot of people when they do abdominal exercises actually have a lot of length of the abdominals but they don't create any contraction. So Ben's just going to lie on the floor and show you where most people go wrong. Now this is the exercise that you see most commonly performed in the gym and it's the ab crunch. There's no control, there's no tempo, there's a lot of speed. Let's go. Now as he keeps going, what you're going to see is his feet are coming off the floor from my perspective, knowing anatomy, I can actually see how much of the hip flexor muscles are at the front of the hips is contracting and how, min, min, how, much, uh, how little of the abdominal muscles he's actually using. So, where I actually break this down is to try and say to Ben that to create any length through the abdominals, you have to have some extension of the spine to actually get some length. Now, because he's flat on the floor, there's going to be no extension of the spine created. So, to create a little bit more of a, a safer environment for the abdominals and to get more of, this, more of a stretch so we can get a deep contraction, I'm now going to place it onto the Swiss ball. So, if you're the person who wants to grow your abs in the gym, the place you want to be positioning yourself and finding yourself in is a Swiss ball. Alright, <clears throat> now, Ben's going to put his hands back on his, on his head. Now, I'm going to take out the speed of the exercise completely and he's now in more of a position where he can stretch the abdominal muscles. I'm sure Ben can agree right now that there's a lot more stretch and now he's actually on the ball. Now, with his head back, head back, I'm now going to instruct him to give me a lot more of a slower tempo. So we're going to come up with two seconds, we're going to load that down with two seconds. Now, introducing Ben to this exercise was quite uh, interesting because it showed that there's some level of weakness to his abdominals and it's good for this instructional video that you can see where his weakness is. So now when Ben comes up very, very slowly, we're going to shorten this range here and squeeze. Now that's actually shaking to his torso. All right? Now this is good for you guys to be able to see because this is a weakness. All right? Now he's slowly going to crunch up very, very slow. And I'm going to look for a shortening here. Hold that and then slowly back down, all right? Now ideally, if Ben got stronger with this, I'd want him to close the gap even more, really contract, now really try and shorten Ben, this more, 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 come in, come in, come in, come in, hold. Now slowly come back. Great, have a sit up. Now, that's how you should be performing the abdominal crunch on the ball. It's safer on the spine, there's more extension of the spine, you create a lot more flexion, and that's how you're going to start to develop the abdominal muscles. All right, so start off with 10 to 12 repetitions, two down, two up in terms of tempo, increase that to three down and three up, slow it down, and you're gonna see how much weakness you've actually got through the abdominals, and that weakness is gonna show you the potential you've got for growth.